Hey, hey, welcome, April 17th, 2023. Today's story is Ukraine bans its athletes from tournaments where they may face Russians and Belarusians. I know, right? How ridiculous does that sound? Again, punishing the citizens for political espionage, for political deceit and disorder. How many times have we seen that? The citizens have nothing to do with wars. It is always politically motivated and controlled. Of course, so many Russian athletes are serving in the Russian army and have supported the invasion of Ukraine, as per the article I'm reading on politico.eu. And so, who is this harming that Ukrainian Olympians can't go to the Olympics now in Paris because they say, well, we can't have you, you know, standing next to a Russian person, Belarusian person, because of your political affiliation with what we're doing. And so let's read the story here from April 14th from Veronika Melikovera oh, um, in Kiev. The Ukrainian Minister of Youth and Sports issued a ban on national level, level athletes entering Olympic and non-Olympic international sports competitions where they might face competitors from Russia or Belarus. The ministry also urged Ukrainian sports federations to monitor the participation of both Russian and Belarusians in upcoming competitions and withdraw their athletes if they are taking part. So if you're going to have to go against a person who was born as a Russian citizen, then you are not allowed to compete against them. How weak-minded political de facto is this? I don't even know how to classify it. Um, again, many Russian athletes are serving in the Russian army and have supported the invasion of Ukraine. This is their reasoning. Here's a quote. We lost diplomatically when the Ukrainian National Olympic Committee and Ministry of Sports failed to, persu to persuade the IOC, the International Olympic Committee, to ban Russians. Oh yeah, so ban Russians again based on citizens where they are born. Now our athletes have become hostages of this situation. Oh my God. Ukrainian Athletes are not hostages of the situation. They are athletes. It's their job. Their job is to go compete in these sports, just like my job was to race superbikes. And now it's like saying, oh, Marcel, you can't enter this race because there's Russian citizens who are your competitors. Like, absolutely tyrannical. It's so stupid. Oh, tyrannical Ukraine. Right back to it, right? Um, a Ukrainian lawmaker and 2020 Olympic champion in Greco-Roman wrestling, Zan Belyuka, stated, He has already started preparing for the fall qualification matches to get a license for the 2024 Paris Olympics, but now his participation, as well as many other Ukrainian athletes, is in limbo. The ban follows the recommendation of Ukrainian government made at the end of March so just last month, it's the 8th, April 17th, the decision came the day after the Olympic Committee said Russian and Bela um, Belarusian athletes should be allowed to participate in the 2024 Olympics as neutrals without a national flag or anthem, despite the Ukrainian government's campaign to have them banned. Well, that's also interesting that they say they can't represent Russia. How stupid is that also? But even with that being decided by the Olympic committee that these citizens are going to be no more citizens in the Olympics. They're going to be independent athletes. And you and the Ukrainian government is still saying, no, we can't have you in the same room with these vile people. You're unwelcome here. You've overstayed your welcome as per herbs stated to me. It is not up to the government to decide which athletes can participate in which international competitions, the IOC said in the statement. Yet the IOC said they can't represent their country. How ironic. Bunch of bitches, huh? Just like the United Nations, all voting 
Oh, we I vote to not have an investigation into the pipelines that were destroyed. No, uh, no, UN, no, everybody unanimous except for, you know, a couple countries like China and Russia and one other in India say, no, I don't want an investigation into the pipeline sabotaging the terrorist act. No, I don't want to know the answers. Referring to Kiev's boycott decision, the IOC said that such a decision would hurt only the Ukrainian athlete community and in no way impact the war that the world wants to stop and that the IOC has so vehemently condemned. I don't even know that word. Let's continue. Some Ukrainian athletes, including Olympic skeleton racer Vladislav Heroskovich and the Ukrainian Tennis Federation, have criticized the ban, as we all should, while others like tennis player Leslie Lezia Turenko have pulled out of matches against rivals from Russia and Belarus. So yeah, acting acting like a sad little athlete. I'm not gonna go against those big Russians. Beluk not Belenuk said Ukrainian athletes' careers are now in limbo and some qualifying matches for the Olympics had already begun. Nobody expects us at the Olympics without licenses, Belnuk said. We're just taking the chance from our athletes to become Olympic champions. Indeed they are. Good job, Ukrainian government propagandist bitches. Screwing over your citizens more and more. This is Ernie Racing News, April 17th, out.